Ever wonder why an unstable particle, if observed continuously, never decays? This phenomenon, known as the quantum Zeno effect, is a mind-boggling concept that dives deep into the heart of quantum mechanics. But even more intriguing is the question of entropy. Is it a property of a system or an observer? Entropy, at its core, is a measure of disorder or randomness. It's a fundamental law of science that explains time, every possible action in the universe, and even gravity. But in recent years, our understanding of entropy has shifted dramatically. In 2011, a groundbreaking article titled Quantum Knowledge Cools Computers, New Understanding of Entropy stated, an object's entropy is always dependent on the observer. This is a radical departure from the traditional view of entropy as a property of a thermodynamic system. Fast forward to 2017 and another article, The Quantum Thermodynamics Revolution, takes this idea a step further. It proclaims, We wouldn't say entropy is a property of a system, but a property of an observer who describes a system. This shift in perspective is fascinating. Entropy is the most finely tuned of the initial conditions of the Big Bang, so precise that it defies comprehension. Renowned physicist Roger Penrose calculated this precision as one part in 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 123. To put it in perspective, you would need 100 million trillion 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 universes our size, with a zero on every proton and neutron in all of those universes, just to write out this number. This extreme fine-tuning of entropy also explains why our temporal material bodies age and eventually die. Yet despite its importance and precision, entropy is now considered a property of an observer, not of a system. So why should the finely-tuned entropic actions of the universe, actions that define time itself, care if a conscious observer is watching or describing them? This shift in understanding suggests that reality may not be as objective as we once thought. Instead, it leans toward a mind-first or theistic view of reality. Consider this passage from Romans chapter 8 verses 20 and 21. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of God. In summary, the quantum Zeno effect and the radical shift in understanding entropy open up new perspectives on the nature of reality. They suggest that the world we observe may be more intimately connected with our consciousness than we ever imagined, and they challenge us to rethink our place in the universe and the role we play as observers.